Hi, I'm Shauna Lee and today I have a super exciting thrift haul for you guys because I found some stuff. Ooh, good. Oh my god. Ha. I found a few designer brands that I'm really excited about. I was able to check off some items from my bucket list of stuff to find at the thrift store. And I, I'm super excited to show you guys what I found. I don't even know where to begin. I, all, all of the stuff is from yesterday and today. And most of the stuff is from today, but I guess I'll start with the stuff from yesterday, which, oh my God. I went to my local thrift store that like, it's like connected to a church. Um, they're very nice people. They get a lot of donations. It's a very large place and they have a lot of home goods and all that stuff. But usually the only stuff I can find there are shoes. I don't really have luck finding anything else there. So I decided to go and look at the shoes. And the first pair of shoes that I found were these. Just black loafers. Not super exciting. Like yeah and i i decided to look at the tag these are prada prada black loafers all right <laughs> cool <laughs> so i was very surprised and i instantly grabbed them i was like okay these are designer Prada shoes. Oh my lord. I didn't really know what to think. I was honestly shocked. These say 35 and a half on them. Um, I'm not sure. I need to look up sizing and stuff, but 35 and a half is what is on these. I'll have to look up the US like comparison or whatever. But yeah, so I found these. Then I decided to keep looking and I found these. Prada. These are like an off-white loafer. Once that focuses, yeah. These are off-white, vibram sole. Yeah, like exclusive for Prada. Super, super nice loafers. And I was like, okay, this is an interesting day. Okay, this is, I was kind of shocked. Like. Like what? Okay. And I decided to keep looking. And I found these. These remind me of like Wicked Witch shoes. I don't know. It's just something about the shape of the toe. But these are also Prada. So I found three pairs of Prada shoes. All right. <laughs> so apparently someone must have donated a bunch of Prada or something. These are size 36 and a half. So I, I don't know, but I was pleasantly surprised and all of these were about $9 each. So I took them home with me. These also were from that trip. I'm not as excited about these, but I decided to pick, pick them up because, um, I don't know, they're cute. They're Franco Sardo wedges in a size, where's the size? It either says six and a half or eight and a half. So, um, one of those, <laughs> but yes, I was, uh, not as excited to find these, but I don't know. I wanted to bring them home with me. I thought they were really cute. So that was my crazy haul from yesterday. And then I decided to go to the Goodwill that I always go to and I found a lot of stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I was so surprised as to what I found. Um, I don't know. It was just, it was a good, really good trip. And I also did end up going back to that other thrift store where I got the Prada shoes and I did also get some more shoes from there, but I'll show those at the end of the haul. I'll show the Goodwill stuff before I show the rest of the shoes from New Life, but which is the local thrift store. But um, yes, let's, let's get into the Goodwill portion of this haul. So we have a new tag floral speedo one-piece swimsuit and this is in a size uh 16 but i thought this was really cute it almost is like a vintagey style it has like that scoop back 
super cute swimsuit and I'm loving picking up swimsuits this time of year because it's starting to get warmer and people are going to start buying them. This is another one piece speedo swimsuit. It looks like it's a lot newer and it's in a size six and the tag does look a lot newer too. This is a Zara basic coat type of thing. It's like a, almost like a cropped coat thing and I've been wanting to pick up more Zara just I don't know it, I feel like I really find Zara I'm not sure how this piece is gonna do but I wanted to get it so I got it so this is another speedo swimsuit it is not new with tags but it didn't look gross or anything so I was willing to pick it up I did check though, and this, so it, I, I'm assuming uh, this is Australian, it says AUS 16, I'm not entirely sure, so I'll have to do a little research before I post this, but yeah, I thought this was a really cute swimsuit too, just in general. Um, this is a new tag anthropology piece. It is knitted and knotted. It's a size medium. I thought this was super adorable and I never find anthropology so I was pleasantly surprised to find this and yeah the fact that it's new with tags and I don't know I love I love the little knitted and knotted like tag thing too. It has a, like a little spindle type thing. So cute. This is a Lily Pulitzer size four floral skirt. Um, I've never found Lily Pulitzer. This actually was on my bucket list of stuff to find. So I was pleasantly surprised to find this and I was able to check it off. Some designs by Lily Pulitzer do really well. Obviously the Target ones aren't going to do as well because um, they did a collaboration with Target. But this is not a Target one, so I'm hoping it'll be good. This was only 99 cents, so I was willing to pick it up. Um, it is Harley Davidson, and it actually is a Sturgis tank top. Um, tank tops don't do as well in general, though, just because tank tops are less fabric and people are not as willing to pay as much for them. But this is a size medium. There is the tag. And I don't know, I feel like it's really cute. This I actually picked up because it was 99 cents, but it also is linen, or I guess a linen blend. And I like the color for this time of year, but it is just Banana Republic. And it's kind of like this little button up type of top, almost as like a lightweight, I don't know, I don't even know what to call it, but it has like these really cool ruffles. And yeah, I thought this was really neat. I'm not sure what the three dots under Banana Republic, um, I'm not sure what that portion means because I know there's like Banana Republic, like factory, I'm pretty sure, or stuff like that. So I need to look and see what the three dots represent and determine which Banana Republic type thing it is. This is a Bowden piece. I've never picked up Bowden, but I've heard that it does pretty well. This is a size US 8 and it has like this really cute ruffle type of thing and either this is a button up shirt or it's like a, I'm pretty sure it's just a button up shirt. But it feels too thin to be considered a cardigan but I thought this was really cute plus green is a good spring color too. This is another brand that I've never sold before but I wanted to try it out. It is Prana. And these are super fun leggings. I saw these and I was instantly drawn to them and I recognized the brand, but like I said, I've never picked it up before. So we are going to try these out and see how they do. This one was one of those brands that were on my bucket list. Wanted to get it because I know it sells really well and it's super cozy and I just, like I said, I have been wanting to find this brand for a while now. This is Barefoot Dreams and it is a size large and it's just like a black cardigan but this brand makes super super cozy stuff so i was 
incredibly excited to find this and I can't wait to get it listed. So this is actually a new anthropology piece because it says by anthropology on the tag. But this is Saturday Sunday by anthropology size extra small and it's just like this solid colored top with this really cute ruffled tr uh, trim on it and I don't know I really really like this and it has a layered effect on the back but it's a very lightweight waffle knit too but I don't know, this piece I feel like is really, really cute. I can't remember what this particular tag is called, but it's another anthropology piece and it's just a yellow, a yellow bird. So I don't know, I can't remember if it's like yellow bird or whatever, but it is an anthropology piece and I thought this was also super cute. It has a sheer back to it and this would be a really, really nice piece with it being lightweight. Um, yeah, I just, I thought it was cute too. <laughs> Most of my reasoning is like, oh yeah, it's cute. This is just a gray Athleta t-shirt in size medium. It's just like a very oversized thin knit top. And there is the Athleta tag. But this, I feel like, I don't know, this feels like it would be really nice to do like yoga or just lounge in. Just, it, I feel like it looks so cute too, just because of that drapey, oversized look. This is another anthropology piece. This is Tabitha and it's size medium and it has a little bit of cashmere in it. So it's like 5% cashmere. So it's definitely a softer top and it's striped and it has this really fun cinching at the bottom back, but the whole front of it does button up. This is actually by Ariat, which is a Western brand they usually they do like boots and stuff but this is like a button down front top but look at the sequin design on the back that is so cool so i definitely wanted to pick this up i love western style type stuff so i could not resist <laughs> um this is a harley davidson t-shirt in size large there's the tag and there is the design on it. This is more of a like feminine cut. It's not really like that like normal t-shirt. It, it's like, I can't remember what the style is, but it's like scoop neck, neck, I guess. And there is a design on the back of it too, but I thought this was really cute. I do like picking up the Harley Davidson stuff. This is another Prana piece. It's size medium and it's just like a plain t-shirt it's a green color though olive green i thought this was a good piece to pick up too especially since i'm trying to get more quantity items <laughs> i'm trying to work on that this is new with tags it is a collaboration piece with collect collective and mod cloth i'm not sure if that's how you say it but it is an extra small, there's the tag, and this is the front of it, it's like an off-shoulder type of top, and then the back has this really cute bow on it, I love this, and it was only marked at 99 cents, so I couldn't resist getting it. It's the Cordelia Plain Top. This is the last item from that Goodwill portion of the haul, and it's this vintage Mickey Mouse crew neck sweater. I love picking up crew neck sweaters like this and the fact that it was a Mickey one, I just, I loved it. I instantly fell in love. And it is from the Disney store. Now let's get into the rest of the shoes that I got from my local thrift store that I go to occasionally. These are Echo sneakers. I've heard that this brand is really good for reselling and I've never sold them before but i like i said i've heard good things they had a few different like other ones there too but they weren't really desirable and i've heard that specifically the sneakers do well so we're gonna try these out and see how they do this is a pair of stuart wiseman brown slingback heels and i almost didn't pick these up but i was like you know what i'm pretty sure stuart wiseman's a good brand i looked it up and then i realized 
Oh yeah, it is, duh. <laughs> so I did pick these up and they are a size nine. These are also a pair of Stuart Wiseman heels. They had like three pairs there, so I decided to pick these up too. These look like they're more of a vintage style though, but I thought they were really cool. They're, they're almost like a shiny snakeskin type of finish on them. I don't know if they'll show up. These are a size seven. And this is the last pair of Stuart Wiseman heels. They have like this elastic edge on them. And these look like a newer style, at least in my opinion. I'm not sure though. Um, these are a size six and a half. These are the last pair of shoes. These are a pair of Sorel boots, snow boots, waterproof, etc., etc. Um, this is a super good brand during the winter. They are in a size 8. I'm not sure how quickly these will sell just because it's starting to get into the warmer season. But people still are going to be doing snow trips or ski trips, whatever, going into colder areas, etc. So um, yeah, I'm excited to see what I can get from these guys. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed making it. This haul was amazing. It's been so long since I've had a good haul. I feel like the last few days have been amazing. Um, yeah, so please do leave a like and comment down below what your favorite item was. So I just realized that the end of my outro cut out because my like camera died or something to the effect of that. So um, I'm... Uh, Future me is going to close out this video. <laughs> Subscribe if you like haul videos, food videos, story time videos, more videos like that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.